Hello everyone, my name is Clint Hoagland and I'm a software testing specialist at TechSmith. Today I'd like to talk to you about standalone projects in Camtasia 2021. If you're a longtime Camtasia user, you've probably had the following experience. You have an existing project that you made a long time ago and you have a need to open it back up for some reason. Maybe you need to produce it to another format, maybe you need to update its information, or maybe you want to use it as a jumping off point for your next video. Then this happens. As you open up your project, Camtasia tells you that your project has missing media. What's more, the missing media is a file that was named and placed automatically and you probably have no idea where the file is, let alone why Camtasia can't find it. Camtasia 2021 solves this problem with standalone projects. When you save a project in Camtasia 2021, you will see a new option in the Project Save dialog. Create Standalone Project is a new option and it is on by default. When you save your project with this checkbox checked, your Camtasia project will be saved as a standalone project. Let's take a little time to understand what that means. If we look at a standalone project on your Windows file system, it looks a lot like it used to. We've got the name of our project followed by a .tsc proj file extension. However, if we look more closely, we notice a subtle difference. Standalone projects look like a folder, whereas projects that are not standalone projects look like a document. If we double click on a standalone project, we see that we are taken to an inner folder which contains all of the media referenced by that project. That includes media from your library or anywhere else on disk. That means that the next time you open your standalone project, all of your media will be there. You might be asking yourself, if all my media gets copied into all of these project folders, won't that take up a ton of disk space? Great question, and the answer to that question is no, due to the magic of hard links. Hard links are a way for your operating system to use more than one name for the same resource on your disk. Camtasia 2021 uses hard links to create an alias for your media inside its project folder. That means that new recordings will still be sent to your Camtasia folder within your Windows Documents folder, but your project folder will also have a reference to that source file. If you create more references to the source and more projects, each of those will all just be references to the original source file. One other piece of good news is that Windows will only truly delete a file once all of the hard links referencing it are gone. This means that, if you feel like it, you can delete your Camtasia 2021 source recordings from your Documents folder and the projects that use them will still continue to work. You've only truly deleted one name for that file while all the other names for that file remain and Windows will keep the file around until all of its names are deleted. One note, deleting that media from your media bin will not delete the hard link from your disk. That means that if you want to fully remove that file from your disk, you must delete every file name that exists for that file to get its disk space back. There are two more important points to keep in mind. The first is that if you move the standalone project off of your disk, that will copy all of those files to the next disk as normal. That means that, for example, if you were to back up all of your project folders to a separate disk, the projects could collectively take up much more space than they did on the original disk. The second is that Camtasia manages the hard linking and the adding of media to your project. Don't manually move the files into this folder because that will not add them to your project and they will not be hard linked. You'll just end up with a very confusing folder where some files are hard linked and some are not. I hope this video helped you to understand how standalone projects work in Camtasia 2021 and how it protects you from losing your files. Thanks for watching.